Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. There's been a question that I've been pondering that maybe Coach Rob and I can answer today. Um, I know it's about old stuff, so it's like when wooden rackets were around, and then when steel came, or metal came, aluminum came, um, was there a real difference in the rackets, in play, in performance? Stay tuned. Hey guys, do you need help organizing your tennis life? Well, think go. We got the Axiom line here, the nine pack duffel, my favorite bag, the nine pack Axiom 2.0. They even make a 12 pack if you're going on tour and my favorite backpack of all time. I love that bag. So if you want to organize your tennis life, think go. So let's go to Coach Rob. Coach Rob. What's up, Harry? You so, got some, uh, some old school, huh? Yeah, I've been pondering. Where's the press? This. <laughs> oh, I forgot if my you're press. If you're bringing out the wood, where's the press? <laughs> I forgot my press. Okay. I'm going to let you hold this Max Ply. Ooh, the Max Ply. This one has a Spalding cover on it, but it's actually not a Spalding racket. It's false actually, advertising? Yeah, it's my buddy uh, Gordon's racket. Um, it's a Wilson Champion. I haven't seen this one before. Yeah, me neither, actually. It's interesting. Um, so as you can see, there are different designs in the rackets. As you can see, this is rounded off. This is more squared off. Yep. Um, my guess is that it does something to the flex and the feel of each of these wooden rackets. I mean, the rest of it looks like it's kind of built similar in that it's thicker here and then thins out there. Right. Um, I mean, you... You and I mess with wooden rackets pretty often, so we know how they play, and we're right. familiar with it, and we feel like the serve is really good with these rackets. A little warped on this oh, one. Oh, just a little warped. Uh-oh. Okay. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. I won't. Um, but I've always wondered when they introduced like metal rackets like this T2000 here, if it actually altered the game any. I mean, I don't remember or recall this making it any easier to play with. I think it did it give it more power? Isn't that what the, it was a little bit stiffer, gave it a little more power by being I mean, metal versus the wood? I mean, you would think so though, right? But the head size I don't is remember the same. this color string <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, I didn't string this, okay. but this is almost, you know, new condition. It's really shiny still. Yeah. So thanks to my buddy Gordon. Uh, Golden State Tennis Shop lending me this. Look, we got a ne new leather grip new on leathers. it, too. Yeah. Oh, made in the USA. Nice. Still made That's <laughs> awesome. Way to go, Wilson. Yeah. So back in the made in the USA day, days. So um, so I've always wondered um, if there was any real performance difference. So this is a Slazenger, and it's called Slazenger Plus, and it's made in England. Um, I mean, I thought we could give these a whack and see if, you know, who gets tennis elbow first. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> um, I mean, you would be the perfect person since you have a continental stroke. Um, you want to start with wood or you want to start? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. going wood. Okay. Okay. I'll start with metal.
All right, so during the uh, shooting of this video, we had a casualty. <laughs> the <That> champion. <laughs> the champion came off, like the Wilson thing came off. I didn't realize that, I thought it was, I thought they painted this actually on the racket itself. Mm. I didn't know they glued this on like this. Yeah. I can't believe the glue didn't hold up after, you know. <laughs> 50 years? 50 years, <laughs> cheap glue they use. <laughs> Obviously, one that doesn't last 50 years. Um, so it's supposed to look like that. And, you know, it's, what did you call this? Formica. Formica. I <laughs> think most of the people don't know what Formica I, is. <laughs> uh, that's the only thing I could think of at the time. So, Plastic. So but. if you're of age, um, Formica is like a veneer. Countertops is what I was thinking. Yeah. Of. So that's what that was. Um, and Wilson Champion. Let, let's talk about the wooden rackets first. Um, so they felt very familiar. As I said, you and I play with these once in a while. And, you know, just to get a reset. What did you think uh, when you first started using these and then picked up the metals? Like, I like the woods. I love oh, the, okay. of course. I love the feel. I got that nice twang again of the vibration of the ball. You knew you hit it well. It had that distinct feel uh, and sound versus if you shank it off the wood. That's a definitely different sound and feel. Um, I still like holding it at the throat with my left hand. I'm like, ah, just that, you know, setting up for the one-handed backhand, just that feels natural. Um, even though the rackets now are wider there, but. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the Champion, I'd never seen that one before. The Max Ply, um, you know, seen that one. Also the Max Ply McEnroe. Right. Always loved that one uh, from going way back. So this one actually had more plow. This one felt really light. So this one definitely had, you know, was easier to play with. Um, and it had more power, it felt like. So I'm going to let you hold the wood. And I'm going to get the metals. Now, when you went from that to, you know, the T2000 or the Slazenger Plus, what did you feel? I started out with the going to the Slazenger because I wanted to save the, the T2000 for last. <laughs> Uh, this one kind of felt a little spongy. Um, it didn't feel, I don't know, the head shape was a little odd, but it was okay. It was interesting. Um, the tubes mm -hmm. were different, mm -hmm. you know. You see how they're um, thicker, yeah, closer together right. versus, you know, here and then out further. Right. And it had these have the little more, um, what do you want to call it? The uh, indentation. Oh, that's right. Where this one's just a round. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. I remember they, they extrude this so that extrude, it helps they, it helps um, stiffen it up a little bit. Gotcha. Which one did you prefer more? Oh, okay. It's a Wilson. More flex. Come on, Harry. More flex? It's a Wilson. I know, I forget. I question your devotion to the brand. Okay. That's what Got it is. It. Um, so I did like the T2000. Obviously, the strings were newer, so it felt like it had a little more pop than the uh, Spalding. Um, uh, Slazinger. Slazinger. Sorry, Spalding. Slazinger. <laughs> Started with an S. Um, so, yeah, it, this one felt a little bit better. Okay. okay. Uh, I never really hit with a T2000 when I was younger. Really? No. I had the red head. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I thought that the red head's easier to play with for sure. Right. That's probably why I went from the, I went from my Jack Kramer uh, autograph to the red head. Okay. So that's a pretty good jump, actually. So you kind of bypassed these little guys um, right. a little bit more. I got you. I don't think I was good enough then to. I got you. <laughs> I needed something a little bigger than this one, whatever size that is. So I started with um, a Wilson similar to that champion. It was my Chris Everett Lloyd special or Chris Everett special that I got from Walgreens. And that was my racket from the 70s on for a long time. And my cousins had rackets like this T2000. And I'd never tried it before. And I thought, whoa, steel rackets. I wish I could have one of those. Because back then, you know, wooden rackets was kind of the industry standard and metal was... Ladies and greatest. Like, yeah, more of a premium. Yep. And, uh, and I never got one just because, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't get me one. You know, you know we, we weren't of that, um, what do you call that? Advantage. <laughs> got it. So... Uh, so I played with the wooden racket pretty much through the, through the, you know, 
mid through, through the, the mid eighties. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so I never really came into these except on a borrowing for like 15 minutes or 30 minutes here and there. Um, so I never really thought of anything of, you know, changing from this to this, you know, the changing from wood to metal. But now that we've given it a good test, um, I definitely think there is an advantage to these metals. Correct. Yeah, they're stiffer, they're more um, powerful. Uh, like even my shanks, which I did a lot of with the Slazenger, went in. <laughs> that you did. <laughs> yes. Uh, if I would have shanked it with a wood, I definitely probably would have shanked it into the net. Well, I think you would have watched the ball. You think so? I hope. Okay. You can always hope. Harry. That's true. I mean, the head size is the same, but definitely more power in these. Um, more, I don't, there's more plow in these. I don't know if they're heavier, but um, I should probably test that out. But they feel heavier. I mean, it is metal. Metal is stronger, right? Um, but yes, there is a distinct advantage um, going into metal. Um, the, the flat shots definitely travel through the air faster. So you got more ball speed, uh, which equates a little more power. When you switch to these, the, your ball went through the court faster. I know my ball landed deeper when I was using the T2000. Mm -hmm. And heavier. Heavy ball. Yes. Okay. Heavier. And um, the, the one thing that you amazed me with is that no matter what we hit with, you actually hit with a good amount of spin. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> With both. It didn't really matter. It's just these took off a little bit better when it hit the ground. Those um, kind of sat a little bit more, but um, very consistent, Coach Rob. I very was trying consistent. to hit it so you could hit it back. <laughs> it's a little more fun to rally than pick up balls. Which you do all the time. Try. Very well. <laughs> all right. Uh, so metal or wood for you? Oh, we're sticking with... With yeah. wood. Okay. Well, give me the T2000. Okay. Too. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So I, I would probably choose the Slazenger just because it's, it, in my opinion, this, this plowed through the most, um, and seems to have the most power. It definitely could be the heaviest one. And, uh, the patent is pending still, it says. Yeah. After 50 years. <laughs> Made in England. <laughs> yes. But this would have been my, this would be my choice, and there it definitely is a difference, and and there's a playing advantage for metal. All right, Coach Rob, thank you for going doing, back in time, yeah, and sure. doing this test with me. Uh, now we know that yes, advantage metal. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.